Hey folks, uh, this lesson is logarithmic functions part one, so I'll have it in a two-part thing. I had a student ask me uh, yesterday, why do why do I always hear at, at the beginning? Well, uh, and she she and her dad uh, do that, I guess, at the beginning of all these videos. Anyways, this is a this program is a voice activated or noise activated uh, program, and so if I don't do that, then it doesn't start picking up until um, like a middle of a sentence. So anyway, that's why I. And I do that. Okay, so logarithmic functions, you guys. So, what's the inverse of an exponential function? Uh, f of x equals b to the x. I'll explain that in the second part, uh, part two, uh, where b is greater than blah 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 on the value. Okay, I'll explain all the inverse stuff uh, in the next one. So let's let's just get going here. So, um, I, in case you've noticed, we are not doing module 14. Um, we're skipping that. I forgot why, but we are. Okay, so here we go. Let's talk off with, start off with some logarithms. This says right here, log base b of y equals x. Okay, now this is what, now this iff means if and only if. Our textbook doesn't use that abbreviation, but that was an old geometry shorthand writing. Iff means if and only if. If and only if this base right here to this power over here equals this. Okay, so b to the x equals y. That's how we represent logarithms here. So if we, here's an example. Log base b of 4 of 64 equals 3 because this base 4 to this power 3, that's what this says right here, equals is 64. 4 to the third is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64, okay? So let's rewrite the equation in exponential form, okay? So this one's going to be, remember, we just go this base to this power equals this. So 3 to the 4th equals 81. Easy, right? So this base here, this little guy, to this power here equals this. 7 to the 1st equals 7. Okay? Uh, this base to this power equals this. Okay? So um, we get... Uh, uh, 1 half to the negative 5 equals 32. Now remember, and you might be asking, okay, but um, uh, how does that equal 32? Well, if we redid um, uh, that, got rid of that negative exponent, 1 half to the negative 5, I would flip it and it would become 2 to the positive 5, or 2 over 1 to the, to the positive 5 right there, and 2 to the 5th ends up equaling 32. Okay, so that, that's how that works equals there, you guys. So uh, remember, a negative exponent with a fraction, you flip the fraction, so flip this is 2, and so this is the same, so 2 to the 5th. So 1 half to the negative 5 is equal to 32, okay? Rewrite these equations in log form, okay? So so 10 to the 4th equals 10,000, okay? So this is our, what it equals right here, and this is our base, and so we're going to go log base 10 of this big number equals 4, okay? So log base 10 of um, 10,000 equals 4. How about this one? This one's going to be log base 2 of 1 16th equals that exponent equals negative 4, okay? This one, okay? So this one's going to be log, this is my base, this is the exponent, so log base 2 fifths of of this D will equal this exponent C right there, okay? All right, so um, this is where we're going to start cranking out and evaluating stuff. So if F of X equals log base 10 of X, find each, okay? So F of 1,000. So what I'm going to do is plug in 1,000 uh, right here. So what is log base 10 of 1,000, okay? So um, uh, what we do is we let it equal y. Always let it equal y or let it equal x. My last textbook, we let it equal x. You can let it equal any variable. And then use our, our new rule. This base to this power equals this. So 10 to the y equals 10,000. Okay, now 10,000 is 10 to the third. Okay, so 10 to the y equals 10 to the third. And here I have... Uh, 10 to a power equals 10 to a different power, so that means this power must equal this power right here, y equals 3. So f of 1,000 here would equal 3. And in math, you guys, 3 dots means therefore, okay? So therefore, f of 1,000 equals 3, okay? You guys probably haven't seen that symbol either, huh? Okay, so we're going to do the same thing, you guys. I'm going to plug in 0 0.01 right here. So we have log base 10 of 0 0.01, okay? So, it, so um, we're going to let it equal y again, okay? So here it is, log base 10 of 0 0.01. Now I can say this base to this power equals this. That's what this says, 10 to the y equals 0 0.01. 
Now, do you remember back in grade school decimal place value, you guys? This is in the tenths spot. This is in the hundredths spot. So this is mathematically one hundredths because it ends in the hundredths spot. So um, uh, 0 0.01 equals one hundredths right there, which is one over ten squared. Okay, which is 10 to the negative 2 power. Okay, so we have this 10 to the y equals this, which is 10 to the negative 2. So 10 to the y equals 10 to the negative 2. Now we have 10 to a power equals 10 to a different power. So the powers are equal. Y equals negative 2. Okay, so f of, um, I didn't close my parentheses right there, f of uh, point, uh, uh, 0.01 is equal to negative 2. All right, how about this one? F of the square root of 10, okay? So I'm gonna plug in square root of 10 right here. So it's gonna be log base 10 of root 10, okay? So uh, there that is right there, and we set it equal to y again, okay? So log base 10 of root 10, we make it equal y, then we can say this base to this power equals this, okay? That's what this says. All right, now, do you guys remember how to convert this to an exponent right here, this square root right here? Remember, there's a little imaginary 1 right there. And what's the index number right there if it's not written? It's a 2. Okay, so that becomes 10 to the 1 half because of the, uh, the hidden 1 and the 2. It's 10 to the 1 half power right there. Okay, so now we have 10 to the y equals 10 to the 1 half. That means y equals a half. Okay, so our answer here is a half. All right. Okay, so let's try that with a different base, log base of a half. Okay, so if f of x equals log base of a half of x, we're going to find f of 4. So we're going to plug in 4 right here, make it equal to y. Then we'll plug in 1 over 32 right there, make it equal to y, and put this in there, make it equal to y. Okay, so here's this one. Now we're going to go 1 half to the y equals 4. Okay, 1 half to the y equals 4. Now 4 is the same as 2 squared right there. Okay, now 2 squared is the same as uh, 1 half to the negative 2. Okay, so 2 squared uh, is uh, 2 over 1. So I'm going to flip this fraction and change that to a negative 2. Okay, so it becomes 1 half to the negative 2. So here I have 1 half to the y. Here is 1 half to the negative 2, so we can set those guys equal, and y equals negative 2, so our, that's our answer. f of 4 here equals negative 2. All right, let's do the next one, okay? So um, here we're going to go 1 half to the y equals 1 over 32. Okay, now 32 is 2 to the 5th, so uh, 1 half to the 5th is going to be our 1 over 32. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to replace this to as 1 half to the 5th, so we have 1 half to the y equals 1 half to the 5th, so y equals 5. Okay, so our, our, our value is 5. Okay, last one here, you guys. Okay, here we go. 1 half to the y equals 2 root 2. Okay, oops, I'll just slide it up right there. Okay, all right, now let's uh, manipulate this so we can see we can get it to look like 1 half to a power. Okay, this is 2 to the first. This is 2 to the 1 half. Do you remember that right there, you guys? Okay, so um, uh, what do we do with these exponents? I asked my class. We either add them, subtract them, multiply them, or divide them. What do you think? Well, we add those. 1 plus a half is 3 halves. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add those. Now we, um, uh, so this is 2 over 1, so we want it to make it equal 1 over 2. So if I flip that 2 over 1 and make it 1 over 2, it's going to change this to a negative 3 halves right there. Okay. Okay, so there it is right there. There's our 2 over 1 to the 3 halves equals uh, 1 over 2 to the negative 3 halves. So here we have 1 over 2 to the y equals 1 over 2 to the negative 3 halves. So our answer is uh, negative 3 halves right there. Okay, all right. If you are in my class, that would be your assignment. Take care.